I was kissing her. Hey, what's up guys? This is Destro and this is another top video. Today we're doing top 5 most expensive games that sucked. Let me start by giving credit where it's due. I got these entries from multiple internet forums and from an article on wegotthiscovered.com. However, the script is from yours truly. And keep in mind, the games have to simultaneously not be liked and... They were also a waste of money. That's why you won't see acclaimed cult classics like L.A. Noir. Anyway, enough of these rules. Let's get started. It's Duke Nukem Forever. This game was like Half-Life 3 in the 90s, you know, the late 90s. Everyone wanted it. There were trailers and teasers, but to no avail. But after 10 years, we finally, finally, finally got it. Too bad we really didn't want it. I guess the flat top and cheesy jokes just don't cut it with this modern audience. And it was an easy waste of $30,000 for Gearbox. I guess that campaign shouldn't have been so long. And then, Gearbox would release Aliens Colonial Marines and... Uh, let's not talk about that. After Heavy Rain, we wanted anything from Quantic Dream. I mean, the game was just untoppable. It was like Halo 3 tier. But... Obviously, we knew it couldn't be topped. Heavy Rain couldn't be topped, but, you know, that doesn't mean we, we didn't want to see anything else from them. But in many people's opinion, this game was just stupid. Ellen Page being in it was why so much money was wasted on it. Heavy Rain made so much sense, and it tied everything together perfectly, and we didn't expect such a nonsensical and game that relied on you know, magic and stuff like that from such good developers. They weren't able to earn back the whopping $27 million they spent on this. Wow. Next time, try sticking to a realistic game. A game about the Matrix. Yeah, remember that? Classic. Anyway, you would think something on a movie you know, could easily be topped by a video game. Because... The Matrix, a lot of it is visual effects, and video games can do effects way better than movies ever can. You know, um, especially with a game like Matrix, which is which was heavily based on visual effects. Of course, the story was amazing as well. But anyway, you know, also, how could Neo, as any game with Neo as the protagonist, be bad? But the only problem is, it's not Neo. The game doesn't even look that good. And if I told you 20 million was spent on this, you probably would have a hard time believing me. Dead. Another game that took, for some reason, 10 years, it also saw two generations of consoles come and go before it was finally limped to the barn. It's a game that was not only not very memorable, but just a bad game. It's kind of a shoot 'em or hack and slash with an uninteresting plot. It started development at the end of the PS1's lifespan, but there's still no excuse to waste $60 million on a game that could just be passable as a God of War remake with guns. Oh, yeah, did I mention that ridiculous price tag? It's time to announce those games that were either a waste of money, sucked, or maybe were both and just didn't make it onto the list. If you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal! Me and some friends of mine... Give me that prod, give me that hook 
yeah, remember this game? You, you probably have it somewhere in the back of your head. You bought it for some armor on Mass Effect, or at least you played the beta. Yeah, well, this game put an entire video game company into bankruptcy. It's that bad. It's, it's not only just something you've played before. It's a bad game that seems like something you've played before. It's like a version of a game just with shit in the case instead of a disc. It the game wasted 60 million dollars and 300 employees lost their jobs following its release. Man, what a piece of shit. It's kind of the developer's fault because you don't put that much money into a game without building up some sort of hype first. You know how Epic Games made the Gears of War series, then they made Bulletstorm and of course that sold probably have some recommendations on what should be on here you guys always do leave a comment and let me know how this video was happy easter and thanks